Hi, my name is Tess. I am 18 years old and live in Vancouver, Canada. I am happy, healthy, and very active. I love to sing, ski, and am currently training for a marathon. None of this would have been possible had I not overcome severe idiopathic gastroparesis. Gastroparesis is a condition where the stomach becomes paralyzed and loses its ability to empty. Typical symptoms associated with this disease include vomiting, nausea, bloating, weight loss, early satiety, heartburn, a lack of appetite, abdominal pain, fatigue, malnutrition, dehydration, and GERD. GERD is a chronic digestive disease that occurs when the stomach acid, or occasionally bile, refluxes back into your esophagus. And as the Mayo Clinic states, there is no cure for gastroparesis. My life started to go downhill in September 2011, when I first started getting acid reflux after eating, which quickly escalated into vomiting. I had about 30 blood tests, a breath test, a lactose intolerance test, two ultrasounds, a barium x-ray, and an upper gastrointestinal endoscopy. Nothing showed up. After the diagnosis, my gastroenterologists prescribed me strong medications. Not only were the drugs ineffective, but I also had to cope with the terrible side effects, which were probably magnified as I was completely malnourished. If medication is not effective, then further treatments include a gastric pacemaker, jejunostomy tubes, and parental feeding. These are all terrifying options that would never allow me to have a normal life again. All this time, my mom and I were researching as much as we could, and to our surprise, found that naturopathic and Chinese medicine were known to cure gastrointestinal disorders. This information gave me the courage to try alternative medicine, because after months, I had seen no signs of progress in my health. In the beginning of February, I went to see Dr. Matson, a well-known naturopathic doctor who was, has written a very informative book called Eating Alive 2. We've lived here for generations and generations. We've all, throughout these generations, we've been eating the certain local foods and 
he's saying, stick to that. Nobody used to get these crazy diseases. Dr. Matson then gave me some naturopathic remedies and put me on an extremely restrictive diet, which completely eliminated sugar, dairy, raw vegetables, caffeine, and yeast. Shortly afterwards, I was able to digest small portions of vegetable broth and wheat-free crackers. These were the starting signs of progress for me. At this point, I discontinued taking any more of the Western medicine. In the beginning of March, I was referred to Dr. Chi, who is one of the top Chinese doctors in Canada. He told me that my stomach energy and my liver energy were not working as one. I had no idea that the, like how rigid my fingernails were. Apparently that told me all about what I was deficient in and all about my liver, which wasn't working properly. So it was just, it was definitely eye-opening how interconnected everything was. By the end of April, I was still not completely cured and not able to digest protein, even if it was blended into soup. So I continued my research. I came across an article that said some people do not produce enough stomach acid, which can cause numerous digestive disorders. This is called hypochloridia and arises when the stomach has difficulty producing hydrochloric acid. I learned that hypochloridia is often overlooked as a cause of many digestive disorders, and doctors typically do not look for it, nor do they test for it. One of the recommended treatments for hypochloridia was to take betaine hydrochloride, a product used as a source of hydrochloric acid, which we promptly ordered off the internet. Around the same time, I also learned that I barogast, a liquid formulation of herbs was very effective for regulating peristalsis, along with treating bloated stomachs and various symptoms of GERD. I read about two specific types of beans, mung and adzuki beans, which are very high in protein and very easy to digest when mixed with rice. I started drinking beet kvass and eating unpasteurized sauerkraut and both immediately started controlling some of my symptoms. I am proud and happy to say that I have not taken any naturopathic remedies, Chinese medicine, or had any acupuncture treatments since last June, and can eat pretty much anything I want. Since school ended in June 2012, I have traveled extensively through Europe, which has sparked my interest in European universities, with the full intention on going to medical school. I believe that all medical disciplines have their place, including Western medicine, naturopathic medicine, and acupuncture. Gastroparesis and GERD have been cured, and I am forever grateful that it is behind me. Please share this video, because the more people who view it, the greater the chance that my story will make a difference.